We're here today to talk about uh, tuning a carburetor. This is a echo blower that I worked on several weeks ago and I want to show, use this as an example of how to tune a carburetor. Typically carburetors come in three form, one of three formats, either a self-compensating and adjustable or fixed jet. This is adjustable. Uh, a lot of the equipment I work on has got a fixed jet, which basically means you have no adjustment. You live with the factory setting. Before we get started on this, I want to cover some principles. Uh, I call them laws of physics on how a carburetor works. Carburetors, in general, are only self-compensating for airflow. They do not self-compensate for temperature. And that's why oftentimes when you tune a carburetor one day and get it running right, the next day it may not seem to run as good. So, as an example, if I tune this carburetor today and the temperature goes up tomorrow, it will run richer. If we tune it today and the temperature drops tomorrow, it'll run leaner. So, as the temperature goes down, the carburetor will lean itself out. So the way I typically tune is I tune with a little bit of insurance. And what I mean is I'll look for a peak RPM, but then I back it off a little bit for that little bit of insurance in case the temperature drops. On this particular Echo, this adjustment is for the high speed adjustment and this is for low speed. I'm not going to mess with the low speed because it's pretty simple. Basically, you set it somewhat fat so that when you come off full throttle, it will catch it and keep from uh, keep it from burning down, so to speak. And so I typically set the low speed at a relatively rich setting, which pretty much will cover the gamut in summertime activity. The way I do it on the high speed jet is when you turn the needle clockwise, like this, in this direction, you are leaning it. You're starting to restrict the fuel. So you will actually be leaning the carburetor out. If you rotate it counterclockwise, like this, you're richening it. You're throwing more fuel into the system. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start it. We're going to get it up to full throttle. And then we're going to lean the carburetor out until we get that peak RPM and then back it off slightly and basically that's that's how I adjust it. All right. That's how we do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found something useful out of it. If you have any questions, shoot me a memo or a uh, comment. And uh, you guys take care. Have a good day.